Alright guys, how you doing? I'm just going to show you a little trick here um, for delta wings or anything that you have Elevon mixing for and you're using a, a DX6i. Now on the DX6i for some reason, I know this isn't listed anywhere in the manual, but for some reason when you set it to uh, Elevon mixing or delta, whatever you want to call it, it's Elevon in the radio, for some reason Spectrum knocks down the max throws by 50% of what you would you would normally have on a throw now probably be probably because uh, delta wings are a lot more sensitive on uh, on turning and everything like that so that could be the reason but for some reason they knocked it down to 50 percent now for what I'm trying to do that's not gonna work I've got an RC lander thrust vectoring kit that I'm gonna be sawing off the thrust tube right here and installing the uh, brushed aluminum RC lander thrust vectoring kit um, also have an engine up motor upgrade coming, speed control upgrade, and already got my huge battery in there. So working on it right now while I'm waiting on a, another model to show up. Um, but uh, I wanted to show you guys a little trick here to bypass that 50%. Because for me, this is on my low rates here. And you can see here if I get down here, not, not too much. But you don't need a lot on Delta for just normal flying. However, for high alpha, which is what I'll be doing, trying to pull high alpha maneuvers, let me go ahead and change my rates to high here, that is the max that Spectrum thinks you should have, okay? Now that is just down, let me straighten it out here, that's just down elevator right there. You can see about how high that goes. Now I can go over into the side, okay, that would be a hard bank turn there. I can do that and that is just to the oh middle of that little line there. Okay, and that was a hard bank turn. So just elevator. Let me straighten it out again. Not much. Not even close to that line. That little uh, piece on the foam there. So, what I'm going to show you how to do here is how to get your throws, trick the radio, and to get your throws into 125%. Okay, what we need to do here. Now first, I'm going to change all my dual rates back down to low. Now, I'm not worried about the rudder right now. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to go into here. And you should already have your uh, Elevon Delta. You should already have that set up when you're doing this. You're going to go down to Mix 1. Um, you're going to hit that. What you're going to do is trick the radio by selecting Elevator to Elevator. Now normally you'd have two different things here. But what we're going to do is trick it and make the computer think it's kind of stacking on itself. So you want to have Elevator to Elevator active. Now, my down elevator is at 70% and up is at 50. You can go to 125%. Unfortunately, right now, because of these EPO hinges and how close they are, if I go any higher than what I've got here, you start here and uh, uh, servo stripping. So, guys, be real careful when you do this. Make sure that, first of all, that you have the hinge room, and second of all, that you have not all servos can go that 125% throw. So, kind of start low and step it up and that'll help out a lot um, so anyways you go elevator to elevator activate set your percentages of down and up elevator now I set mine to the uh, mix switch that switch is also my thrust vectoring so I can shut my thrust vectoring on and off and when I turn my thrust vectoring on my extreme high rates on my uh, on my radio that we're, that we're setting up right here will come on with it um, that way I can shut my thrust vectoring off and just go back to my normal dual rates. So by doing this, not only are you tricking the radio and getting rid of that 50% that they put in for you, you're take, you can take it all the way up to 125, but you're also really on the DX6i, you're putting in three different rates, kind of like a tri-rate switch over here. You can have three different throws. You can have your low, your high, and then the switch which I used as my mix because that'll turn on and off my thrust vector and turn on and off my extreme throws. So I've got that set up with trim activated. Okay, and that's for the elevator. Now, I don't have my aileron hooked up yet because I was getting some grinding on some servos. And I just need to go in here, cut those hinges out, and put in some actual hinges, which I'm going to be doing here soon. So, but what you'll want to do to finish this off and get those max throws is you'll want to go into your mix 2 and you'll want to change that to aileron and aileron once again put in your percentages that you want to use for your throws I would put it on the same switch that you have your elevator that way you can control your extreme throws off of one switch 
and trim activated. Now, I'll show you guys what this does here. Now, remember here, guys, mine's only on 70 and 50, and you can go to 125. So, we're going to go ahead and show you. All right, we got it here. Now, you can see my little paper here to kind of remind me to set dual rates before I flip this switch, and that this is also for the J10 thrust vector, and this will control all of that. So, I'm going to make sure my dual rates are on low, but before I do that, I'm going to show you elevator on high rates. Now this is max. This is what Spectrum has programmed in for the Delta Wing so that that's the highest 100% throw they think you should go on these things. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of high alpha maneuvering with that thrust vectoring. I need a lot more throw than that. So that is max. Okay guys, put it back down to uh, low on dual rates. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to flip my switch for what we just set up. Now, I'm just going to give you a down elevator again. Okay? A lot more there. A lot more throw. And uh, what I can do is I'll try and give you that same, and I'll try and flip the switch here so you can see. Okay, that's 100% throw what they think you should have. And after doing the little radio trick, that's what you can get. And remember, guys, that is only set, what, 70 and 50, I think, is what I had it set on. And you can go to 125. So... <clears throat> when I go in like this, and that's a hard bank turn again, you can see how high that goes, almost above that little part. And when I shut it off, drops back down, back up, okay? So that's on, guys. So, once you get that set up, and remember, I don't even have my ailerons on my Mix 2 set up this way. If I did, when I went into this high bank here, it it... I have done it, and it goes almost to that sticker. Um, very high throws, guys. So you can set this up. See, ailerons aren't even set up for high throws. Elevator is. So just by tricking the radio like that, by going elevator to elevator and setting your percentages, and going aileron to aileron, setting your per uh, percentages, make sure first that your servos can handle it, that you've got the room in your hinges, or you've worked your hinges really, really well. I've worked these like crazy and I still can't go above 70 on elevator without hearing some some clicks out of the servos which is not good I've actually heard a few too many so I'm probably gonna replace those um, so yeah that's a little trick if you like doing high alpha on a delta wing or you're putting thrust vectoring in or anything like that and you're running a DX6i and I believe the same thing goes for the DX7s and 8s whenever you mix in the delta for some reason they cut the throws by 50% is if you were to just have it set up standard for a higher low wing airplane. So that is the way to bypass it and uh, get your rates a little bit higher. Um, and I'll have a video coming up with the thrust vectoring and all that kind of stuff. I'm really going to have to check my servos here after I've set this up. I kind of did it the wrong way. I set it on high first and uh, and uh, I heard some gear spinning. So uh, everything still works but whether it works under load is going to be my real test. Um, so once again guys, just give you a little that is with it on, that's with it off. Alright, and if I put my normal throw on high, that's it right there. So it helps tremendously. So if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, just go ahead and leave them and uh, I'll get back to you and otherwise have fun. Throw some extreme rates on here, especially with an EDF Delta and do some crazy alpha and catch it on video and hit me a link or something. Alright, thanks guys.